Good morning everyone. Welcome to our class for today. So before we start our class, let's have an attendance. Class mayor, can you check the attendance for me? Okay, thank you so much. So now, are you ready for our class discussion? No. Even if you are not, we are going to start. So we are going to start our discussion with a motivational activity or awareness. This awareness is called Connect Me. Now, here's the thing. Whoever got the highest score in our class today will receive a reward. I will only choose three students who eagerly participate for today's class. Now, is everyone ready? Very good. Now, here's the direction for the activity. You will be shown three different pictures that each correspond to a specific word. Then, you are going to connect those words in order to form a new word. So, those can guess the correct answer will be given 10 points. I know some of the students here are familiar with this game if you watch the showtime yes it's a game from showtime now are you ready okay let's start here is the first picture okay what do you think is this everyone there's a prince a pulse and a C. what is this yes yes principles very good next picture Mm hmm state your name assessment let's see if it is assessment it's correct assessment how about this last picture what do you think of this what do you think is this learning learning is also correct so we have gathered the word principles assessment and learning now let's proceed to where another activity yes we have another activity this is called arrange me so you only need to arrange the scrambled letters to form a word did you get it this is a very common game i know everyone knows about it so here is the first picture what do you think is this okay i will give you a hint first letter is a it's a letter a what do you think is this authentic is correct okay let's proceed to next picture okay another hint for this one c the first letter is c state your name everyone very good comprehensive last picture i don't think you will need a hint for this one yeah holistic holistic is correct very good let's have a virtual cup for everyone okay we have also gathered the word holistic comprehensive and authentic now here is the question what do you think is the connection between these words in the assessment and why we should have a set of principles for assessing learning so that's the questions for today class so that will be answered in our class for today so if you have observed our class for today is about the principles in assessing learning so here is our objectives at the end of the lesson, you should be able to recognize the principles in assessing learning and select five core principles and explain them in relation to your experience. So that's our objectives. Now let's go to the main part of our discussion. Okay. Principles in assessing learning. These principles are really a great help for teachers and for future teachers like us in order to assess our students in the right way 
or in a correct manner. These are also a guidelines to ensure that a test is useful, appropriate, effective, and plausible. These principles are crucial to be taken into consideration because assessment is an important aspect of educational process which determines the level of accomplishment of the students. So to tackle the first principles, let me call teacher Arayan to discuss about it. Good day everyone! Today, our discussion is all about the principles and assessing learning. And on behalf of my report, I will tackle the four principles in assessing learning. Assessment number one, assessment should have a clear purpose. Assessment practices should have a clear purpose that supports teaching and learning. Assessments must clear match the content, the nature of thinking, and the skill taught in a class. The focus of assessment is practices whenever summative, inter interim, or formative in nature to support student learning. As a result, a clear purpose related to student learning enhances the effectiveness of an assessment process. The purposes of it is to practice may range from obtaining the diagnostic information at the start of instructional to determining student growth to be reported at the end of the instructional period. For example, number one, providing evidence of learning to inform instructional decision and practice. Number two, providing immediate feedback on current learning and or a target to student. Number three, engaging student in self-assessment to develop an understanding of their own learning. Number two, assessment is not the end itself. It's not end in itself but a vehicle for educational improvement. It is effective practice then begins with an exact a vision of a kind of learning we most value for students and strive to help them achieve. Educational value should drive not only what we choose to assess but also how we do so. Number three, assessment is ongoing, continuous, and formative process. Teachers who utilize regular, ongoing, formative assessment in their classroom find that the students' engagement and learning increases. Teachers are able to use the data generated from formative assessment to drive instructional changes for both whole group and individual instruction. It means that students find value in assessment in that they always know where they stand and they increasingly aware of their own strength in success. Through this, it is easy to create, easy to take, and easy to score, and easy to use the result of their improvement. Number four, assessment is learner center. Teacher use student grouping and authentic learning experience to make learner learning interactive and engaging. Learning environment is calm, open, and welcoming, encouraging the student to take chance and participate actively in learning. Teachers write lesson plans, but they are flexible and easily adjusted to accommodate students' needs. So, assessment is a learner-centered classroom shape that focus from being measures of grading to helping teachers understand and create lessons based on their specific needs. The goal for both students is for them to learn, to build on the skills and knowledge they already have, and to help each of them make progress in their knowledge. It measures what and how well the students have learned at the end of instruction. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ryan. So next to that is that assessment is both process and product oriented. Yes, assessment considers consider the equal importance of process and product crafted, which is the products that made by the students. Process, this refers to the performance of the children, like the role play, the dance activity, or any activity that you gave them. And product means 
the submitted outputs, the finished product of their task that will serve as the evidence of their learning. Did you get it? Okay, so next is that assessment must be comprehensive and holistic. So meaning to say, when you give an assessment, you do not just consider one particular aspect of the child. Dapat ay holistic siya, meaning ikakover mo lahat ng aspect niya, hindi lang sa kung saan magaling yung bata. Pati na rin sa ibang pamamaraan, dapat makandak mo siya sa assessment mo because if it is comprehensive and holistic, it will end a results that really represent the learning of the students. Kahit ano pang form or any kind of questions you will conduct, the results will still be the same if it is really a comprehensive and holistic assessment. So next, assessment requires the use of appropriate measures. Okay, when conducting assessment, especially papers like summative tests or exams, dapat your test should be valid. Your test should be reliable, kasaligan and dili bias. Because there are some teachers na magbibigay ng test questions na makakasabi ang mga students na hindi nila natakal yun or hindi nila na-discuss yun. So something is wrong with your tool. Something's wrong with your test paper. And that violates these principles which is the assessment should require the use of appropriate measures. Lastly, um, assessment should be as authentic as possible. Okay, When considering how to assess student learnings in a course, most instructors will agree that the ideal assessment would be the one that not only assesses students' learning, it also teaches students and improve their skills and understanding of course content. So one fundamental aspect of such assessments is that they are authentic. So if possible, we should always use authentic assessment or realistic assessment for us to gather or for us to obtain authentic results, for us to obtain real grades, for us to obtain real information about the student's learning. So that's the last principles of assessment. So given the importance of assessment for student learning, it is important to consider how to best measure the learning that you want your students to achieve. Assessment should integrate learning, grading, and motivation for your students. Will design assessment methods provide valuable information about the student's learning? They tell us what students learn, how they learn it, and where they struggle. And that's it for our discussion for today. And I hope you are able to recognize and remember the principles and assessing learning. So, I will post your activity later. Just check our classroom platform anytime this day, okay? Very good. So, thank you for today for participating. God bless you and goodbye. Thank you.